Greetings and welcome back to the studio. Today I wanted to talk to something that might be really useful to some of the newbies, but also some of the more experienced quilters. And that is something uh, that's available on the Urban Elements website. They are free designs. Now, we also have some free patterns and we could talk about that at another time. But what we're going to be talking about today are the pantograph patterns. And I will be taking you uh, onto the computer and showing you on the screen how to filter out for those free designs. I used to just tell people to put free up in the search engine on the website, but the problem is that we do have some designs that have free in the name like uh, Let Freedom Ring. And that's a patriotic design, but it's not necessarily a free design. So I can show you how to filter those designs to find the free ones. I believe there's something like 55 different free designs. Now we have digital designs. The digital designs are only for people who have a computerized long arm system. I have an IntelliQuilter on my Bernina and the IntelliQuilter takes IQ file format designs so I could download those designs and in fact I have some of those designs. There also is a self print function for the other paper pantos. Now we don't ship free pantos because that would incur a cost for the paper and the shipping. But you can print these designs on your own home computer and then you would tape those together uh, depending on some of them print in a landscape, some print in a uh, vertical format. But you will see that as they print up. Um, you will just print out as many copies as you would need either to accommodate the quilt that you're working on or if you wanted to go the full length of the table you could print out as many copies as you needed to do the whole back of the table and that will depend on your setup. So that's about the only thing you have to decide except which one of the beautiful pantos that you want to download. Now there's no limit. You could download all 55 designs if you wanted. Um, some of them are blocks so you could use them in the block of a quilt and um, I've shown how to do that using the pantograph grids to help center the block when you're working on a block like that. There are also some edge-to-edge -edge designs which are really useful. Um, some really cool, one, cool ones. Um, I even saw in the Bernina booth once that they were using one of our free designs to do uh, when you use the yarn, couching. They were doing couching on the lounge lizard and it looks really beautiful. I think there's also a frog in there in the free stuff. But um, so that you have the edge to edge and then there are also I think one or two sets where they have a whole cloth quilt where you have the pantos going down the side across the top and then some corner elements and something in the center. So there are a lot of options on there. Um, I think you'll have a good time looking at them. It's a great way to add to your collection, uh, expand your library. It's also a great way for people who are just getting into pantograph quilting to practice without feeling like they have to uh, make another investment after they've already purchased a machine. So, uh, and there's also videos on the internet of how people transfer uh, a pantograph to the back side of a quilt and they will do the quilt in reverse using their domestic machine. So you could look that up also. But I'm going to take you inside. We're going to look at how to find the free designs, how to download them either for digital or the paper, and for the paper how to go ahead and print them off. For the digital you would just be saving it to a thumb drive and taking your thumb drive to your computerized system. So let's get moving that way and we'll get started on this very easy tutorial on how to download free digital designs. We are at the Urban Elements webpage as promised and I have already logged in to protect my login information and we're going to go to quilting designs. This is one of the uh, topics in the ribbon here so we'll click on quilting designs and what we will get is a new screen 
on the screen here we have some categories and we have some subcategories uh, so we're going to click on subcategory and we're going to go down here to the uh, category of free and you'll see in parentheses the uh, number 55 that is an indication of how many designs are in the free folder so we'll click on that and wait for the website to open it up we can see here uh, before we get down to the designs we have a paper pantograph which is usually printed with one or two full rows or partial rows on for the next lineup those are ones that we ship out we have digital designs the zip files included are all of these different file formats and in our help section there is an explanation of which type of computerized system takes which one of these file formats but when you download a design you get all of the file formats and what you would do is unzip the one that you need and save the one that you need to a file a thumb drive and then take that to your computerized system I generally uh, try and get into the good habit of having a designated file for my digital designs that have the file format that I need and I delete the rest just so it doesn't take up space on my computer because I don't need 18 different file formats that I cannot use and then there's also a little note here that goes over the definition or the explanation of what an E2E is, a P2P, and B2B, and so on. Some of these designs are intended to be interlocking. You can see how this particular one, the Argyle, goes up and down and they nest in together. Again, again the same thing with Bean Sprout. But if you did Bean Sprout, on a border you would have these dips where you'd have to be doing partial rows so some of them the border to border are a little more solid they're flatter on the top and bottom so they would completely work in a border uh, situation as you can see there are some uh, block designs abstract and all decked out are two examples we have happy birthday wishes these are pantographs here that would sew all the way across the edge of the quilt this particular one here circuitry you can see how in the black design the red would be the repeat for the next row or the previous row but you can see how the top and bottom of that design is very flat and so something like that could work in a border um, I would have to see what the edges look like but you can always adjust the edge but this nice flat top and bottom might be really good in a border situation same with this double bubble in that it's fairly flat even though it's got little curves it would fill up the space very nicely here with fall foliage you can see we have a corner and then we have the border this could be used as an all-over design as you see with the repeats or it could just be used one time in the border and then go around the corner and then continue on so some of these can be used in multiple ways again we have this funky feather block uh, this is really cute funky feathers this is petite petite generally means it's for a machine that has a much smaller throat space so uh, anything from almost a domestic machine uh, you know you'll see the sizes on there but we could click on funky feathers petite just to open it up um, there'd really be no reason to add this to your wish list since it's free you could go ahead and um, just download it but you could add it to your wish list you could add it to the design wall and see how it looks specifically on a quilt by uploading a photo of the quilt onto the design wall and then overlapping this design and you have the print function so if you wanted to download the digital file and again the digital file would only be for people with a computerized system you would click here and my files download in the lower left hand corner so you'll see right here funky feathers petite zipped appeared in my download folder 
If I wanted to download this as a self print, I would click on this one. And again, you'll see it's going to download here. Now it's downloaded as a PDF. This is a printable uh, file format. So I double clicked on the PDF file and this is exactly how it would print off. There is a dotted line at the top and bottom that help you align these or it would be side to side depending on um, the size of the panto. Um, but it would help you line up these papers edge to edge and then you would either use a glue stick or the clear magic tape tape them together and you would print off using your printer function in here I do not have a printer connected to this computer but if you selected print and then you could go ahead um, and you want to make sure when you're printing that you do not have it adjust to fit. You want to maintain its original size because you don't want it to distort. So, but you would print off as many copies as you would need to fit either the quilt or the uh, back of your machine. So it's a fairly simple process here. Let's go back and see some of the other beautiful designs. Let's see, this is a really great one, heat wave, for if you're doing a man's quilt, a boy's quilt, a teenager's quilt. They usually love that kind of flame design. Hearts and ribbons is really good uh, for anybody doing any kind of uh, remembrance quilt. It could be breast cancer, autism, AIDS. Any of those would be really good with this ribbon quilt. We're moving on to page two. Here is one of the whole cloth quilt designs that we mentioned, that I mentioned. You can see this particular quilt has all of the elements to do this project. You have the border, these corner elements, and this is the border again, but you can see uh, how this would sew out. And again, this comes as either a self print or a digital, and you can see all of the different elements that you would get with this particular download. <clears throat> Again, we have some blocks. Oodles of Doodles is really cute. That's a petite. I love this particular flowing heart, Patina. I think I've already downloaded that one. Here is the Ribbit block, and here is the Ribbit Panto. I've seen this done out with the um, couching with yarn it sews out really beautifully and it's a really fun thing to do on a child's quilt somebody that likes really tactile things to play with the rosebud is beautiful we have the border the uh, edge to edge and the corner some great geometric uh, shapes here scrolling vine with the corner and let's go to page three. Star Spangled All Over. This is a fantastic design, free. It is available both as a digital and as a self print. This would be fantastic on one of the Quilts of Valor or anything similar to that. And we have some great starlet and stars and hearts. This is also a really great quilt. This would look great on a primitive quilt, on a romantic quilt, thistle, top knot, wild cherries, and wild cherries edge to edge. So you can see that there's a lot of options here. The process is very easy to download them to uh, either of the formats, these zipped files. If I open up my zipped folder that I had downloaded, um, you can see in my computer, when I clicked on the file, I have an extract 
extract all. If I click on that, it's just going to give me a file destination and open it back up. And you'll see it overlapped. Now these are all unloaded. There is a PDF in here for you to see the design. But as I mentioned earlier, my particular setup uh, requires this IQP. So if I clicked on that to highlight it, right click to copy it, then I could take it to a new folder I could name the new folder unzipped files, unzipped IQ files. And I could pop it in there and it's finished. Now my design is right here in the IQ files. Uh, there isn't any point to open any of these files on your computer. Your computer does not know what to do with it. So don't try and open these up. If you do, what will generally happen is that the computer will rename it to something and then you won't be able to find it. Um, so don't try and open these files with your computer except for the PDF file because it just uh, the computer will try and do something with it when it wasn't really intended to so don't open these just go ahead and copy and paste them as needed and then um, if I had a thumb drive in it would have appeared down here in my network I could have copied it from here and pasted it to my thumb drive very simple so that pretty much wraps up our free lesson for today our free download and our free self print um, i hope you'll take uh, some time and look at these designs download as many or, or, or all of them because they all have their uses it's a great way to expand your quilting library and until next time thanks for stopping by the studio